Okay, here's a quick rundown. Uh, the P0106 code map sensor, um, number seven, right there. Uh, my truck, 109,000 miles, 3,200 hours on it. Um, come up with the code. Notice I had no boost. It was in D rate, limited uh, RPM, limited speed, all that stuff. Um, so obviously this is the air coming in to the intake manifold, EGR coming around. I think that EGR basically is dumping dirty air right downstream of that sensor and it plugged it up. Uh, when I went to pull that sensor out, it was stuck in there pretty good. Had to wiggle around, pull it up out of there. Obviously it was all sooted up once I got it out. Um, took, replaced it, and it took my problem. We'll just dive into how we fixed it. Uh, you're gonna need seven millimeter shallow well socket, eight millimeter shallow well socket, 10 millimeter deep, screwdriver, uh, a couple other things, and that should be about it, pretty simple. Okay, 2021 20, Chevy 1500 with a three liter diesel. Um, check engine light, come on. I got the dreaded um, 65 mile an hour max speed. Pulled the codes, it's P0106 map sensor. Um, first thing I noticed, I run the banks on it. I got no boost. Um, driving it, I got no boost. So it's telling me that so the sensor is not reading, that's why it's defaulting to that. So we're gonna dig into this and see what we can find. Okay, I'm gonna dig in, try to find this map sensor. Uh, Got to pull oil cap, 10 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna hook the battery too, just in case. Okay, we're gonna pop this air pipe off, seven millimeter, seven millimeter. Okay, I pulled this coolant hose off. This coolant tank just sets up against the firewall, pulled it loose, and then pulled the intake pipe off. Seven millimeter back at the turbo. Shallow well, it's tough to get into. Um, get that pipe wedged out of there and that's the next step to get to the sensor that's right in there okay so eight millimeter shallow well down in there you gotta go in blind <clears throat> get the bolt out i pulled the sensor out still hooked to the harness and uh i'm pretty sure that's focus um why it's bad it's just coked up with egr crud so we'll change it out and see what happens okay so it's uh end of october 2023 uh we're in the height of the strike so it was tough getting parts i found a dealer in illinois that would ship me this one a genuine gm one um, before that i was able to cross it to a standard part number um and they were to get me one too so i bought both of them just in case uh, they look identical. The stamping on them is identical. Um, I really think it's the same sensor. Price is about the same, a couple bucks different, but that's about it. Okay, buttoning it back up. Uh, I hooked the sensor up to the harness, slid it in, dropped it in the hole, put the 8mm bolt back in, tightened it up, put the air intake pipe back on, getting it back on the turbo there is kind of tricky. Um, slid it on the turbo, it's good. Put the air pipe on, put the coolant line back on, coolant tank back in position. Um, we'll put our cover back on, uh, 10 millimeter bolt, oil cap, and we'll fire it up and see what happens. Okay, got the new uh, map sensor put in. Check engine lights off. Still got the warning on the dash. I do have boost pressure again now, which is good. I can rev it up, load it. I couldn't get it to get boost before, so we got boost now. I'm gonna go ahead and put it through a regen and uh, see if it goes away. Okay, final follow-up to the P0106 map code. Um, <clears throat> finished truck up, took it out, ran it through a manual uh, mobile regen. They cleared that fine. I still had, the check engine light was off. I still had the speed limit at 65 mile an hour coming up. Uh, I drove it, cleared down to one mile an hour, left till 65 mile an hour. And then at that time, the message went away and the truck's fine. So everything's good. So if it leaves that message of X amount of miles to 65 mile an hour, then just keep driving it and it went away on its own and um, everything's good to go in the truck.